Six kick switch is a fantastic drill and should be one of your first choices of drills when swimming front pool. Not only does it improve body position and leg kick, it's a great way to improve body rotation and timing of your breathing as well as the underwater phase of your arm pool. There are many elements to look at for this drill, so let's get straight to it. Six Kick Switch is an amazing progressive drill to do once you've mastered Swordfish. The main aim is to improve your body rotation as you pull your arm through the water when you switch from side to side. The way to do it is by starting in a Swordfish position, complete six kicks on that side, then rotate your body and switch your arms over to the other side. This movement should initiate from your hips and your arm pull should help complete the movement by pushing your hand through to your hip. You want to maintain a strong leg kick to keep your body position horizontal to the surface of the water. You also want to make sure you catch as much water as possible by having a high elbow on the underwater phase of your pool. This drill can also be a progression on from shark fin. You can do this by switching your arms over after each zip action on your side. Just make sure to maintain a high body position and a six beat leg kick throughout. With a few elements to think about when doing six kick switch, faults can be more common. First of which is your leg kick stopping while switching sides. By doing this, you will start to drop your body position lower in the water and therefore not replicate how you should swim full stroke. Try to keep your legs engaged throughout this drill for maximum benefit. Another fault that is more regularly seen in less experienced swimmers is a low elbow position on the catch phase of your arm pull. Whenever doing any pull phase on any stroke, having a high elbow position is crucial. Pulling with a straight arm initially pushes water down rather than back to your hips, which makes your stroke less efficient as you're wasting a large quantity of your arm pull. By bending at the elbow, it gives your arm pull more purpose by pushing water backwards and ultimately driving your body forward a lot more effectively. A last common fault that can be frequent among swimmers is the timing of the stroke. Some swimmers, in my opinion, keep their lead arm in front of them for too long so that they're about to switch sides, both arms are extended in front of them. I'm not a big fan of catch up, so when I coach six kick switch, I like to make sure that the catch phase of the leading arm has already started before the other arm takes its place. It allows your body to rotate better and improves your overall timing of your stroke ready for when you do full stroke freestyle. We hope you've enjoyed this latest progression of Freestyle Drill. Be sure to check out the full Swordfish playlist to continue improving your freestyle technique. Please like this video, share it with others, and of course subscribe to the Propulsion Swimming Channel for more weekly tutorials. I'll catch you on the next one. Come on.